let your head get in the way Can't be defined by your mistakes You know you try and you try really hard But sometimes you fall Yeah, sometimes you fall Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, a very warm welcome to you. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me once again, baby. Um, so this is another weekly vlog. Welcome to this week's weekly vlog. It is Monday, the 6th of March. Um, so yeah, I'm back. I wasn't vlogging last week, which is why you guys didn't get a vlog yesterday. But if you follow me on IG, you would have seen I said that you guys aren't getting a vlog because I just needed a break, y'all. Um, when the week began last week, I hadn't told myself that I'm gonna take a break because I did vlog a little bit But then I was like like midweek. I just felt like nah like it's just not working out Like I feel like I'm just forcing it, you know, so I just let it go Like I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna slide. I'm gonna take this break that I need and I'm gonna come back Which is now I'm back for you guys. Okay. Um, yeah, besides that I just really feel like I've been very consistent like the whole month of February I was literally so consistent and obviously being consistent um, requires a lot of hard work and obviously working hard also just you know you, you get burnt out um, so I wouldn't say I had a burnout but like I just needed to take a break to avoid like having those major major burnouts so yeah I just needed to just breathe you know just breathe without feeling any pressure of having to vlog but anyway I'm back now and we need to do uh sorry guys we need to do our um, monthly reset because obviously it's the month of march so we're gonna do that i actually just came back from campus um i had two meetings i had meetings in the morning and then i have tutorials now in the afternoon and yeah i'm back home as soon as tutorials ended i was like that's my cue to leave because i don't know like just being on campus like obviously there's just different energies and i just i don't know like sometimes i get drained like today i just got drained like out of nowhere and i was just like side eye like bombastic side eye because i read like i can read a lot into like people's energies and ciao it's just not giving it's not giving so to protect my peace and my sanity i just decided to leave i even left my friend i was just like girl do see is i'm gonna see you on the flip side um yeah besides that i've got a full week of school so i'm trying to limit my time on campus as much as possible because i'm gonna be at school from monday to friday so yeah this is gonna be like um uni week in my life uni diaries type of thing so because i've got school the whole week um so most of this vlog is going to be about school but anyway um obviously i just got back home and i just want to relax and to relax um i'm going to just do my monthly reset think about my month and what i want to do this month and all the things i have planned in this month and all the because i am attending an event this month as well so i'm just planning um yeah so i'm gonna do that with you guys um but i also want to set my monthly goals for march in fact i think i think setting goals like in bits and pieces like tiny achievable goals is very smart because it doesn't overwhelm you and it makes it more easy to achieve like little things like little things stuck in terms of like figuring out my schedule for the month because like i've been trying to write and write and write and i'm just like you know what i don't know like a lot of my time this month is going to be spent doing school stuff and i'm also trying to figure out also my work calendar like in terms of like the videos i'm going to be filming um and how I'm going to coordinate all of that, like the ideas I have. I always have a list. I always have a list of ideas there, 
um, beforehand. Like I have like a list on my notes on my phone of all the content ideas that I like come up with anytime and I just write them on my notes. I just type them out of my notes. So like figuring out like having like ideas is not a train smash. It's actually doing and implementing and executing those things. That's kind of like very tricky for me because I just don't know how it's gonna work. But I'll figure myself out. I'll figure myself out. I always do. Um, and then also my goals for the month. I cannot think of any goals. Literally, maybe I'm just putting too much pressure on myself. It'll come. It'll come. It'll come. So I've literally written only one thing on my March goals. So let's just go look at my February goals and see how many of those goals have smashed. You see, guys, my calendar, my February calendar was so nice because I had planned everything. You know, it was just nice. Like, but my March, 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 what's going on, March? What's going on here? I don't know. I think it's just a lot. It's just a lot that has that has to happen this month. And a lot of things due this month. So obviously, like, things are just all over the place. But it's okay. It's okay. I don't want to think too much about it because then I'll overwhelm myself. Um, so here are my February goals. My goals for February, um, you guys know what they were. If you watched that vlog, you know what they were. So I'm just going to tell you guys what I've achieved and haven't achieved. So my first goal was to reach 1,500 YouTube subscribers. I did not achieve that. I'm like... 20 something subscribers away from 1,500 subscribers. Oh, so I'll add that goal to my March goal. And then my second goal was to pass 7k followers on Instagram, which I have passed. Um, yeah. Uh, my third goal was to save 200 grand, which I did save, but I have used those savings. So I don't know if that, if that counts. Like I've used them literally within the weekend. I used those savings. So it doesn't count. I had completed it. Well, it does count. I did smash that goal. But like, my the point of me saving money is to like save it and not use it now. So I don't know. I'm kind of defeated there. Him. And then number five was to be consistent on YouTube, which I have been. It was supposed to at least four or five times this month, which I have. Have I? Me count. I have. I have. I have. So I smashed that goal, baby. Then number six was to pray and study the word every day, which I have been doing. I've been praying a lot. I've been basically strengthening my relationship with God each and every single day. So, glory to Jesus. <laughs> number seven is to join a ministry at church, which I did join. I did join a ministry at church last month. And yeah, I actually have a training this Friday for that ministry. Like I've got a training so yeah i'm very excited so i am serving the house of the lord per and then number eight was to release two episodes of it was about my podcast which i think i need to talk to you guys about now um if you didn't know i have a podcast it's called girls cave um the aim of that podcast was to just have like a safe space for like young people more like more young people um obviously it's open for everyone because it is public for everyone it was basically more for young people to just have a place where they can talk you know and share stuff and whatever and like a place where we can be vulnerable with each other and actually give each other advice or rather me give you guys uh, my opinion on like certain things and whatever because there is a group of people um younger than me who do you look up to me so and i always get questions like i always like people always ask me questions about how i do this how i do that how i balance this how i balance that what what like 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 how did i get out of this situation how did i get out of that situation what would you know so i'm always like giving people advice always all the time and i really value that i really like it when people look up to me but now the podcast is still there it's still going to be there but i feel like i need to re shift my focus reshift my the purpose um the reason i'm saying that is because obviously i am a child of god i just over the past two years i've had a lot of challenges and difficulties in terms of my relationship with god at the word of god says the righteous man falls seven times and always gets up again so this is a journey we stumble before uh, we go through things um, but that doesn't take away from the fact that God loves us. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm just trying to reshift, <sighs> like, like, like why I'm doing it. Because now I want to focus more on actually 
doing things the right way like having it scriptural based and in order for me to be able to do that i need to be in a position where i'm able to and uh, since i want to guide people through scripture through the word of god and obviously me myself i need to be a living example and a living testimony to what i'm saying you know it is very imperative for me to be practicing um is it doing in jealous zone i need to be an example first through my conduct so i'm just working on like that working on myself in my faith i don't know if you guys get me so i just decided you know what lord i'm gonna put my podcast to a standstill just to reshift my focus and to re and to just allow god to redirect me and yeah obviously pray over my podcast and whatnot when i started my podcast i was very far from god um so yeah yeah let me just leave it at that so i i decided let me just take a break from it and like just stop putting our content there daily i hadn't really started like putting our content on there consistently so it's okay um it's there it's still gonna be there but we're just gonna rebrand we're gonna rebrand and when it's the right time for me to come back on the platform i will do so god willing so yeah i hope that makes sense um yeah those are my goals and i achieved one two three four five six seven seven out of eleven um of those goals two of which were were about my podcast which is now on standstill so i've achieved about i'd say 85 percent of my goals so i'm proud of myself and i'm hoping to to achieve more of these like setting small goals small realistic goals is very nice because the goals are like are attainable like short-term goals they keep you going um yeah with that being said i'm gonna take this time for myself now and just figure out actually my month i'm gonna be thinking about my month i want to watch netflix now but what i do so i'm just gonna think about this month and like sort it out because obviously i still don't have a plan <laughs> i actually don't have a plan um which is okay so um yeah then i've got bible study the time is four right now it is 4 p.m it is 25 minutes past four. I've got Bible study at six. So I'm going to leave the house at half past five. So in, in about an hour, I need to be out of here. So yeah, I've got Bible study at church. So yeah, guys, that's that. And I need to finish my water. Anyway, child, I'm a love and leave y'all. Probably talk to you guys again tomorrow. So... Let's go make food, actually. Let's make food. Let's eat. Let's relax. Yeah. Later on, maybe when I come back from church, I'm going to do some self-care. I actually do want to do some self-care. It is a Monday. Um, so, yeah. When I come back from Bible study, which will be later on. So, yeah. Oh, child. Bye, guys. <laughs>so i just i just came back from campus the time is a few minutes after 7 p.m i had um i had to work after hours today because i am behind on some work so i was just trying to catch up which i did but i still need to do some more catching up so i'm gonna go shower right now and then um mom is coming back with food so I don't have to worry about food and then i'm gonna continue with my work ciao um yeah i also had a meeting today with my team yeah my day was basically meetings like yeah i just had meetings the whole day so that's that tomorrow is wednesday and i've got rehearsals with my actors um and then i've got a meeting again with my crew jay 
because we are preparing for our presentation, um, which is on Thursday. So a lot of ground has to be covered that we haven't covered. And I'm low-key, not even low-key, I'm high-key stressed. Like, my entire crew can see that I'm stressed because I am. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I don't like last-minute things. And a lot of things in my group are just making me anxious, obviously, because it's a team thing. I can't really share much about it. But, like, they are making me so anxious, I don't want to lie. And I'm also making myself anxious because I feel like there's a lot of workload. And I'm trying, yeah, to, like, complete everything bit by bit. But that's still, like, making me really, really, really nervous because, like, I don't know. Like, there's just a lot going on um but yeah anyway so yeah i'm gonna go shower and get to work again i looked really cute today i didn't really show you guys my outfit but i looked really cute let me try and show y'all but how it's not gonna work it's not gonna work but i'm wearing these pants these pants are from poetry they're just long pants from poetry and then my vest from zara and this jacket is from mr prize um yeah i was just cute and then i was wearing my crocs because they're just comfortable so yeah anyway so enough rambling guys i'm tired but I don't want to keep telling myself that I'm tired because then if I tell myself that I'm tired, I'm not going to do my work. I want to keep procrastinating and I can't afford to procrastinate because I am behind on my work. So let's get it working. Let me go shower and make myself feel good um, before I actually sit down. So love you guys. Let's go shower. Like I'm pushing, I'm trying to 
um, catch up with all that I'm not caught up with. I'm trying to like do all my um, directing stuff like properly because obviously I'm directing. Um, I'm a director, so I'm just trying to like I'm learning a lot about directing. Um, I'm learning a lot, and it's just I don't know how to feel, guys. Honestly, I honestly don't know how to feel because I'm like, what? You know, like, is this my life? Like, is this my life? Is this the life that I'm really gonna choose? Like, is this the life I'm really gonna choose for myself? I enjoy what I do. Like, I really enjoy what I do. Like, get me wrong, I'm very passionate about it. But I'm so scared like of being in the industry like outside in the world you know because i'm just like i'm so tiny <laughs> it's just all these random thoughts you know like these silly thoughts these random thoughts that are just like girl like what like, like what are you talking about okay because i mean practice makes perfect the more i direct and produce the more i acquire skills and you know get more equipped in this department so i mean i trust myself and i trust god so yeah like school just has me on a chokehold chat like school is up my neck um i'm just leaving my cleanser to sit a little bit it feels so good on my skin it feels amazing um so yeah it's quite okay it's yeah, the, the type of stress that like you know the amount of work that you have to do like you know that you've got a lot of work to do but it's like so much work that you don't even know where to start and what to do first and what to follow with and that's where i am now like i'm just like there's a lot i need to do and everything keeps piling up the more and more i procrastinate the more things keep piling up guys it's not pretty it is not cute like honestly guys if y'all think that being a film student is cute Trust me, it ain't cute. And to anyone out there who wants to be a film student or who is aspiring to be something in the film industry, <sighs> gird the loins of your mind. Gee, have a clear mind. That's all I'm gonna say. Because it's not easy, like, it's not cute. This whole, like we try to romanticize it, yeah, we try to make it look fun. It is fun, I'm not gonna lie, like it is really fun, especially when you're on set. But the planning, the planning, the research, the planning, the research. Kuningi, guys, I don't know, like I don't know. And what's worse is that I wanna do my honors and I also wanna do my masters. So to me, I'm just like, But I am gonna do it. I am gonna do it. Um, cause I just need. I want more skills. Like I want to acquire as much skill as I can. Um, yeah, yeah, and work on as many projects as I can. I think I just need to put myself out there. And I feel like this is the year where I actually am gonna put myself out there. I'm gonna use the Sarah B moisturizing cream. This is for dry skin, y'all, and I do not have dry skin. <laughs> I don't have dry skin. Like my, I have like combination skin. Yeah, because it's not dry nor is it oily. It's just like in the middle. Like it's oily in certain areas. Like like my, is it the T area, T zone, or whatever it's called. But yeah, those are the areas where it's dry. I'm gonna be very generous with this because I'm going to bed and I want to be as moisturized and as hydrated as possible. Um, yeah. I want to be as moisturized and as hydrated as possible. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Mmm, guys. Oh my gosh, this is insane. It feels so good. What? Why did not I know about this this whole time? Like, I always used to see it, obviously, when I buy my skincare stuff. But I never used to buy it. Because I was always like, hmm. You know, will the season. 
how I don't like buying, okay, I always buy useless things, but I don't like buying useless things when it comes to my skin. But I mean, it's all part of trying new things, yeah. You know, it feels really good, it feels really good. It has no scent, which I love, I love that. So, I'm gonna spray my rose water, or whatever, per. I know it's night time, and I don't really have to spray it, but like, I'm gonna spray it anyway, because that means more glow for me. Even if so maybe, because who knows, what if I meet my parents charming? What if I have to wake up and rush some way and, you know, always oh, gonna be glowing. <laughs> I like to put a generous amount of it. Yeah, anyway, that's the end of my night skincare routine. So I'm gonna go and I'm not even gonna do any work because I just want to rest. I have been working on our presentation for weeks now before today, obviously, because we presented today. So now I just wanna relax. And then tomorrow is Friday and I don't really have any classes tomorrow, but I do have a lot of work to do. So um, I'm planning on going to like a cafe. I'm gonna look on Google just now, like which cafes I can actually go to that are around like my school, like around like Durban North or Mkhanga, where I can work. Cause I wanna change scenery. Like I'm always around Florida, Morningside. So, you know, I'm just change scenery um hello kids but otherwise i'm going to kloof <laughs> which i'm i always i'm always at kloof or oh, oh, pressed i'll see in the morning i'll decide in the morning so yeah guys for now i'm gonna love it if y'all i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow love you guys <laughs>
before I have the test shoot yeah so it's just that and then obviously I've got my treatments my research treatments and whatever so in general, it's just those things that are stressing me but I'm gonna get it done I'm gonna get it done and I will be fine are you going or are you stopping child anyway so yeah we don't cringe you guys and you a little bit but it's nothing I can't handle honestly like I'm when I keep telling myself that it's nothing I can't handle because honestly getting is a clue in do you get me like I'm so smart and I'm getting you clue in doing a kulum it's just those challenges that women do has you know but anyway I feel like I've been talking too much now and I want to listen to my music so I'm gonna see you guys if not when I come back from church I will I'm gonna see you guys when I come back from church if not tomorrow Try. 